When you're creating a tuple, for example, let's say we have t set to the integers 1 to 4, what you're actually doing is you're packing values together. Well, just as you're packing values, did you know you can also unpack? So we could even write something like this. The variables a, b, c, d assigned to t. Now the values of t are being unpacked to these variables, and we can check that. Okay, and we could even try other containers. For example, we could even do lists. Change this to square brackets, and this will also work. Now this packing and unpacking can even be combined into a single line. Here we are going from list to tuple, but let's try doing the opposite. So tuple to list. So we write a, b, c, d equal to tuple one to four. And that also works. And further, we actually don't even need to include any closing brackets. So we could even write simply a, b, c, d, e, f equals one, two, three, four, five, six. This is exactly what we saw when we were talking about assigning multiple variables at once. And this explains how we could have done that by packing and unpacking. Now we can even do dictionaries, but there's one of many ways that we can do it. So we have three ways to do it. If we were to unpack the dictionary directly as is, then it will interpret it as unpacking the keys. If we were to use dot values, then it will do by values. And if we do dot keys, then it will do by dot keys. So if we run this, our results confirm that by keys, by values, and then by keys. Now, all of this is pretty trivial, but this is where it gets interesting. Let's say we wrote asterisk t comma set to tuple one to four. If we print it, we see that we have packed these values into a list. Not too complicated, right? But now let's try this. Asterisk t comma another variable u set to that same tuple. What do you think will happen now? Well, let's print it and check. So what is happening now is that the asterisk is telling Python to pack multiple values into t. But since there's a single variable next to t, and because of the way that this is ordered, the t before the u, the u will take on the final value of 4, and then the t will pack all the values prior to that, and that is what we are seeing. Similarly, if we wrote this by including another variable v, what do you think will happen now? Now, since there's another variable v, u and v get assigned to the last two values, 40 and 50, and then t packs the remaining three prior. And if you're following this logic, we can even mix up the order. So we could even try these two, where now we have u and v at first and last respectively, and then u, v at the beginning. Let's run this. So now as expected, since u and v are placed first and last, they get the first and last values of 10 and 50, and then t packs all the remaining in the middle. In the second example, u, v are placed in the beginning, so they take 10 and 20 respectively, but then t packs the remaining after that, 30, 40, 50. You should be getting the idea by now how asterisk is working in this context. Now, a common use case for the asterisk for packing is concatenation. So say you have three lists, L1, L2, L3. Originally, we could have just done this. So print L1 plus L2, L3 and then we have concatenated all of them. But with the asterisk, we can do this. Unpack the first, unpack the second, and then unpack the last. Okay, so that also works. The beautiful thing about the second method is, is now you don't even have to concatenate it into a list. For example, you could take the same code, but then concatenate into a tuple and this would also work further 
none of these containers have to be of the same type. They don't have to be lists. They could be different. For example, we could have made the first one a tuple and then the last one a set. This will throw an error because you can't concatenate different types by using plus. So let me take this out and rerun it. Now if we try this, this will work. And this will also work. So packing by using this asterisk in the context of concatenation is actually quite powerful. Now with dictionaries, it's a little trickier. Say we had two dictionaries, D1 and D2. If we were to simply write, for example, this D1 and then D2, what will we get? We will just get the keys, but this will actually be a set. It won't be a dictionary. To unpack dictionaries and then repack it into a dictionary, we actually have to write print and then follow carefully, write double asterisk D1 and then double asterisk D2. So now this will actually concatenate the two dictionaries. Now it's important that the double asterisk is only used inside a dictionary because that's where it makes sense to use it. If we were to try doing a tuple, this will now throw an error. So let's run it. And indeed we get the error in valid syntax. Same with lists. Also an error. Okay.